Okay, my friends, this is a dark day in chemistry. A very, very dark day. I have led my life <laughs> based on this chart. And it works, it works. But it's not right. You say, well, oh, Roger, what do you mean it's not right? Mendeleev came up with this, he's a genius. And it was, uh, yeah, we had very, uh, absolutely, I agree. Uno, 100%. No. Why am I saying it's wrong? Well, because it's wrong. <laughs> the, the atomic nucleus, the core of every atom, is not made of protons and neutrons. Absolutely not. Every core is just a compilation of electrons. And you say, oh, Roger, how could they all be a Because they're negative. No, 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 no. Electrons, here's the story with electron flood. This is not right. And I'm going to show you it's not right. You know, I mean, this is, it works. But it only works in a certain number of ways. But there's a, there's a lot of problems. Now, that's what an electron looks a photon. You see the black ball, white ball, black ball, white ball, side to side, like two bar magnets upside down. That is accelerated light. First it came like this. Then it starts to stack up and get a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter, and then it explodes at the Venturi. And Well, I might as well show you that now. Here's how this worked. We shot light in here, and then at a Venturi, which is two big round pins like this, they have to go through, and these balls on huge regions and when they come in here they all have to come together then they explode and crush and separate and here's exactly what we did red laser pip 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 all of a sudden you see a particle all of a sudden that starts showing up and you say whoa what's that well it starts showing up because it's accelerating before it was just a wave and I will show you this in a second and then when it hit the Venturi which I'm talking about here they exploded. The bl then the black particles, which is the black and the white, we saw black and white. The black particles go around the outside. The white ones go through the center and explode like an atomic bomb. So what do we take away from this? You can go back and listen to this. I know I might be going a little fast. Might be a little, a little slow for some. But what we have here is the photon. We saw it back-to-back -back electrons, which makes it a neutral particle, basically. The electron itself is half of that, and that will invade you and hurt you and burn you and try to force its way into other particles. The photon's already made up. It's got a, one of each, and it's good to go. So it'll bounce off of you like bouncing like a basketball bouncing off a backboard. And it depends on how hard the backboard is, how fast the basketball's going. That's all. And so coming back at you, it comes back hard, it's blue. It comes back medium, it's green. It comes back slow, it's red. That's all. It's, that's like string theory. And it's almost like having a guitar string. And you're throwing the particles at them. And it boing, boing, boing. That type of thing. Now, so we know now that we have photons, we have electrons, we have accelerated light, we have concussion, we have separation of particles at the Venturi. Let's look at that, because I, I could show all these things. I'm not guessing at a single thing that I'm saying. All right, here we go. Okay, my friends, this is what CERN is looking for, is muons, which are, in, in my world, is that black ball. Okay, right here. That's the muon, and then an electron, which is there. And the electron creates showers, and I'll show you. So you got a muon, and you got your electron showers. And here they are. Let's just take it from the top. Pulse red laser, don't forget. Here it is. That's boop, 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 boop. and that's what it is to hear until it starts to approach the venturi. Now we're there. So here we are at just a regular pulse red laser. Now here we are approaching the venturi. And obviously you can see it's becoming a particle. You can see it's going faster. You can see it's concussing. You can see it's becoming extremely bright. And this is where it's forcing itself to go through that venturi. And all of the black particles are leaving 
and going out and coming back down here. This is a single slit, however, you still see the separation patterns, what they call interference patterns. They're not interference, they are repulsion. Particles repulse each other. The white ones want to be away from all the other ones. They are concussive. That's a concussion, 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 concussion. That's more and more of these waves. They're here, you don't see them, but they're, they're flowing through the air. These are opposing them because this is what they call a reverse EMF, electromotive force. You see that right there? That's a reverse coming back this way because of the concussion. Now, what is the electron showers? There they are right there. And they are coming out of the Venturi towards us, coming like this. And here they are. Those are the electron showers. What you're seeing here is only the white particles. The black ones are all around the outside. I'll show you that in a second. We saw the white and the black ones down here. We've seen that. This is a particle I don't think anybody's ever seen before. It's not a it's just one of those things that's an anomaly at this point. I believe that was a reverse spinning particle. We're going to get into that. This shows that the particles spin to the right, means it drifts to the left, expanded down here, compressed up here, that means it's slowing down. These are all the things they say light can't do. It's not supposed to be a particle. It's not just supposed to be able to accelerate. It's not supposed to have charges separate. It's not supposed to do any of these things, but it does. Don't forget now, they came in as the photons, and I say they are electrons back to back. They explode, and then the black balls move away from the white, and here they are. Here's all those little black balls. Not a single one in here, not one single one. Now, I say these are the muons. These are the electron neutrinos, or electron showers that are coming through the Venturi, and they have to accelerate, they have to crush, and so forth. Now, what is, what's, what's CERN doing? They made, the mistake they made was they started with protons. Well, here's what happened, here's what they wanted to do. They wanted to see what is the nucleus made of. Now, what's down in the center? They thought there's all kind of electrons in a cloud, yes. They understand that. But what is, what is it clouded around? They want to know, what is that core? What's it made of? So they figure the best way they're going to do it is they take a couple of these things and they break them up. Well, you can't break them up very easily. They don't fall apart easily. So they slammed them together. When they did, they got debris like atomic bombs going off. And all the little pieces of all kind of different sizes. We started with light. <laughs> well, that's all. We started with light. There is nothing but light here. And light as a photon, as I showed you, is that right there. That's what a photon is. And I see them in green too. Hold on. See, remember before you see the red ones and then all of a sudden they turn just like that? Well, here's green from a green laser. And, and it's much more powerful too. And they do exactly the same thing. Here, I got one that's just the green here. You see, look at that. Now, how is this exactly constructed? I'm not certain, but it appears that these two are the, the dark matter muon particle, and they are the gravitation. They want to be back with the white ones. We saw after they came out the other side of the Venturi, they wanted to get back together, but not until these guys settled down. These have some form of pushback. It's push to shove. When they're in a condition where they're pushing against something or something's pushing against them, they start to glow. They don't just sit there and glow all of a sudden by themselves unless something happens. And you can make almost anything glow if you hit it hard enough. I'm serious. It will emit light. All right? it's, just, it's just the nature of material. If you shock it so severely, it will emit light. Okay, my friends, I'm going to make this quick and simple for anybody over 12 years old with a adequate mind. The atomic structure we were always taught, protons, neutrons, and electrons, is not correct. And I'm going to show you why, and then you make your own decision. 
Here's what they're saying. You have these huge protons, these huge ne neutrons, and a tiny electron. And the electrons flow around this huge, huge core. I will accept that it's a huge core, but it is not made of neutrons and protons. It is made of electrons. And you say, oh, well, Roger, how could that be? Electrons are only neutral. I mean, only negative. And I say, no, they're not. They are dipoles. That means they have a positive and a negative. Now, they don't even consider them, and they are, they say they're approximately 1,840 times smaller than the, the, the protons, so they're negligible, they don't even care about them. Well, guess what? 1,837 of them, actually, of electrons, equals a proton. So, for every proton, there's 1,837 actual electrons in there, and an electron has two poles. It has an extremely powerful, very explosive pole, and then it has a dark matter pole. Nobody ever knew about it, and that's where dark matter is. It's a muon. Now, it could be like this. It shows up like this, as I either showed you or will show you, when it explodes as a as back-to-back -back their photons. Electrons are just one. But back to back, it turns into a photon where it's not explosive, it won't kill you. Wait, I have a little example here. All right, here's what it is. This is what an electron is. All right, you've got an extremely powerful side, and then you've got the dead side, which nobody ever knew about, the bottom. Now, when they go back to back together, just like this, that's a mu, I mean, a, a photon. And that right there is not like electricity. It's light. It'll bounce because it's got two sides to it already. This wants to incorporate itself with something else. All right. Now, let's just continue on. Now, I say this is the electron. It has a positive and then I mean it has the what we're familiar with the very explosive reactive part, which is we call an electron. It, attached to the dark matter side we never knew existed. And I show it. I have shown it, or I will show it. Now, the only other possibility is in normal, unless they were concussing, and I can only show them when they're concussing, because otherwise they're not visible. When they're not concussing, they may just be like this, where the dark matter part is inside the white. And Because I also see that very, very, very obvious. Now, is it like that when they're just sitting around or is it, anyway, I'll show you. Now, the only difference between a proton and a neutron, neutron is neutral because it has an extra electron. A proton is out of balance, 1837. So it's, in this case, it has a positive charge. It wants to grab another electron. Now, the neutron is just neutral, that's it. And they throw it in there just so they can get by, because it's, it's just not right. One of these particles like this is an electron. So, let's go a little further.